all day we were doing meetings on the hill and we had a meeting with Tina Chen at the White House and I'm really just excited that uh, I'm a part of something that uh, makes me feel like I'm helping and makes me feel like I am I'm supporting arts and schools. And what we were talking about today, uh, I was trying to get Congress to spend a little bit more money and stop cutting uh, all of the arts programs at schools. And you realize how fortunate you are. You're like, man, I had I had PE, I had art, I had ceramics. I was forced to take dance, and now all those programs are getting cut. And I feel like I was very lucky to grow up in a time where we had all that. And, and it's just not fair that um, it's getting cut because creativity and arts programs do so much for kids in ways that math and science can't. I think that having uh, the experience of expressing yourself as an artist as a, at a very young age really teaches you to express yourself, period. And I think that it is an incredibly therapeutic and, and important uh, act of every human being to, to engage in. It's, it's politics, so everyone yesed us to death and smiled and clapped us on the back and took photographs. What really matters is where they spend their money and which way they vote. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a war. It's a smiling civil war, but it's nonetheless, uh, the, things are heavily divided along party lines and the arts should not be partisan. You know, it's a lot of like the same things when you're talking to these, these politicians and talking and trying to get your like bills and your policies through you kind of, you know, are doing a little show and we kind of went around today and, and did a little show for everybody and, you know, told them, you know, all of our anecdotes about how the arts have helped us be where we are right now. And, you know, I think the positive feedback that we got was really encouraging. You know, now that I'm going to be a mom, I'm like, I don't want to live in a world where my kid can't, you know, have arts in, in his or her school. Going to the White House today and seeing all this history and everything is really neat. And then the real purpose we're here, which is to, um, you know, advocate to members of Congress the reasons uh, that arts and education are so important, that they deserve federal funding. Uh, it was nice to come at it with, you know, a lifetime of experience on both of our parts uh, and a little bit of the, you know, the age and the experience to have seen the good that it does. When I was in sixth grade, we put on a play for the other classes and it was Sleeping Beauty and everybody wanted to be Sleeping Beauty and I wanted to be the Wicked Witch and it was the first time I really felt this connection and this magic to uh, storytelling and it left a huge impression on me and it was the first time I caught the bug to be an actor. I was such a huge Seinfeld fan that when I actually went on the show I thought oh my gosh I'm in the kitchen. I'm in Seinfeld's kitchen and I went and I opened up the the cupboards and I pulled out the cereal boxes and I was like, there's no cereal in the cereal boxes. So I think for me, when I got on that show, I thought, wow, is this it? Like, have I made it? I'm still struggling. So, you know, it's all, every, every show I get on, I'm like, I've made it. No. The new show, Unreal, uh, premieres on June 1st, and Entourage movie comes out June 3rd. So it's a very, very crazy weekend for me. I think the real moment that I realized that I was living my dream um, was when it was in 2008. I was eight years old. I was attending one of my first foundations for Sally Children's Foundation. I work really closely with them for pediatric research. And, um, I remember sitting there and, and watching someone speak and turning to mom and going, I want to do that one day. I want to use my platform that I've been given with what I love in the arts, the theatrical, to be able to help people. And here today, we're all using what we've been you know, blessed to be given for, for the better and to help educate people and advocate for people. And oh, I'm so excited for the dinner. I've been I've been getting so excited for the dinner for the past two, nine, two months since I've known. I have like a whole Pinterest board ready. And of course, to, to see the president and the first lady is going to be such a joy and honor.